I mean, with the Strokes, I did um, Modern Girls, which was really, it's actually really cool because it was my first time ever to like, there's this thing that I guess only the Strokes get to experience, which is like being in the Strokes. And there's like this power that just kicks in, like when they start playing all at the same time, it's one thing to be in the audience, but it's another thing for it to be like this wall of sound that's behind you. And you sort of feel like, it's almost like they, they, they become this transformer that like they, all the parts come together and they're just this massive, totally in sync thing. And so that was really, that was just a great feeling because I've never, you know, I'm not, I'm not that much of a rocker. I mean, I could rock out sometimes, but it's just that kind of, the way that those pieces fit together, it's very thrilling. I was so in love with their music. It's so emotional to me, the way that they use intervals, especially like, there's like this pulsing way that symphonies have about them where the, the intervals, they get so crunchy and like they get so, so, and then, and then they release. And in a lot of ways, I think that the, even the speed at which the strokes play, like their time, it feels more like classical music, except done with like awesome distortion too. So it's like you have this, this power of rock and, and kind of is ballsiness. And then you have this really beautiful melodic side. So I've, I've always loved it. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be telling this story, but it's just, it's too cute. And it's really been like warming my heart. But I love Nikolai and his kids and his family and his wife. And, and um, he listened to uh, Nimiki Tapa when it was first posted, the Don't Leave Me. It kind of hit me that the thing that I want mo most for that song, and maybe, maybe enemy.com could help me in this pursuit, is that it sort of hit me that my I ideal life for that song would be if it became a, a song that kids would limbo to. <laughs> it was just, it, it, it just sounds like, I don't know, it just sounds like a limbo song to me. And I think that limboing has gone out of fashion and, and it would be really cute for kids to just hold up brooms. And, and so he sent me this video of his kids limboing to it and I saved it and it literally on, on like, days where I just wake up and I'm, you know, not in a good mood. Or just instantly cheer me up and I've watched it like a million times because they are so cute. He put on the song and then they're limboing to it. It's very, very sweet.